Good day guys, thank you for dropping by again. I played a game in the advanced server and we all know how overpowered Argus is right now considering the revamps they are preparing for him to be released on the regular server. Unfortunately for the opposing team, I also had Pakito and Moskov in our team. If you guys aren't aware yet, Moskov just had a huge buff and so did Pakito. As if Pakito wasn't nearly godly enough, Muntan decided to yet again buff him. Way to go, Muntan! Stay tuned for this video will show you what happens when three buff heroes get picked on the same team. Spoiler alert, it didn't end well for their team. I will also share with you guys the reasons behind my decisions in this game, which will certainly aid you on further improving your game. Since we were up against heroes that have excellent mobility such as Wan Wan and Carry, it was only natural for me to select items that slow enemy heroes and improve my movement speed. Under normal conditions, I would have invested on different items. Remember guys, that there is no such thing as a fixed build. There may be in most cases what we call core items or staple items, but never will it occur that a hero will only have one item build or one item set. Whenever building items, always have the intent to counter what the opposing team picked. With that being said, I invested on Croatian's side for this game. This is an excellent item for the opposing team's lineup since number one, it slows down enemy heroes. This is most effective for melee heroes like Argus. In addition to that, it will also improve his attack speed and movement speed for every strike. Pretty much this is a perfect match for him since if there's one thing he needs, it's to minimize the space between him and his target and increase his attack speed to trigger his passive more frequently. Another tip, when you're playing against Wan Wan, whenever she hits you with either her basic attacks or skills, you get marked. The markers are those red things around your hero. Aside from the fact those markers are required for her to trigger her ultimate, it also has another function that some players aren't aware of. It provides vision to the enemy team. As long as those markers are active, don't bother hiding in the bushes since they will still gain vision of you and the area around you. Whenever you have such markers, it's best to stay away from teammates as well, especially when your team is orchestrating a gank, since the enemy team will also gain vision of them. When you're playing as a solo laner, regardless of what game that is, it's extremely important for you to have good map awareness. Keep in mind that you're defending your lane alone, far from your other teammates. Practice looking at your map every few seconds. Some signs that an enemy team is orchestrating a gank is Number 1. Two or more of them are missing from their lanes. Number 2. A squishy hero is approaching a nearby bush within your field of vision, attempting to lure you in. And number three, one of the oldest tricks in the book, enemy heroes pretending to experience lag or disconnection.
No matter how strong you get as a solo laner, keep in mind that it is still your priority to take care of the lanes. Try your best to manage the lanes and balance the minion waves by pushing the enemy minions that are halfway through the map. And if you can, split push, or what most Filipinos call as Segway. If you're leading the game, it's best to wait for the Lord instead of taking the turtle when it is almost 8 minutes into the game. Taking the turtle close to the 8 minute mark will delay the Lord's arrival. Look at Takiro casually punching the minions, then stealing the kill. What a thief! <laughs> I got Wind Talker for this game as it greatly increases both my attack speed and movement speed, same as Corrosion Sight. This too is a stacking buff. While this build lacks burst damage, it however ensures that I can chase down even the quickest heroes like Wan Wan and Carry. Huge damage won't mean anything if you can't even reach your target. That concludes our gameplay video. If you were entertained, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. Do you guys agree that if not nerfed, these heroes will be too much to handle for other heroes? Or do you think not all of them were overpowered? What do you think? Let me know what you guys have in mind down in the comment section. As always, I thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace!